my patient took a barrier head in the sand viewpoint toward Lyme disease, which did not help him. He had been ill for over two years, suffered from severe fatigue, brain fog, poor sleep, headaches, poor concentration, irritability, neck pain, chest pain, palpitations, stomach pains, and joint pain. He remained ill despite having been evaluated by a number of specialists to rule out other illnesses. He was reluctant to consider Lyme disease or a tick-borne infection without a positive test. His condition significantly affected his quality of life, and he experienced increasing frustrations as each specialist he consulted was unable to identify the cause of his symptoms. Despite his worsening condition, he was hesitant to pursue a diagnosis of Lyme disease due to a lack of definitive test results and a belief that it was unlikely without a positive test or a known tick bite. His family, concerned about his deteriorating health, encouraged him to reconsider his reluctance and seek treatment for Lyme disease. After much persuasion, he agreed to undergo treatment. He was successfully treated with doxycycline, followed by a combination of, of Zithromax and Malarone for Lyme disease with a Bobesia co-infection. The improvement in his symptoms was remarkable. His fatigue, brain fog, and other symptoms began to resolve. He is now kicking himself for taking that barrier head in the sand viewpoint and not considering Lyme disease earlier. His experience underscores the importance of considering Lyme disease as a potential diagnosis in patients with persistent, unexplained symptoms, even the absence of a positive test or a known tick bite. Early intervention and treatment can prevent prolonged suffering and can lead to significant improvements in health.